We have good news to start with. San Diego has the cleanest air right now that we've had in many, many years. Yeah, it's getting better. But uh, David, David Davis is down at a monitoring station to tell us the whole story about this. Good morning, David. Hi, David. Good morning. You know, they've been monitoring air here in San Diego for more than 50 years. We are at the best level we have ever been in those 50 years. That is the great news here in San Diego. And we've got a long way to go, as everybody talks about. You don't want to sit on your uh, rest on your laurels at this point. But, the, you know, usually you show graphs and you go, oh, boy, is that exciting. That's a pretty boring <laughs> graph. But not this time. We've got a graph to show you. And uh, County Supervisor Ron Roberts is here to talk about it a little bit. This really tells uh, what, what we've been doing here in San Diego as far as cleaning air out. Well, this really is a good news story, and it's good for everybody. I mean, it's the, the health of our community. The air is the cleanest that it's been in over 50 years. And it's and in spite of the growth, tremendous growth in population, tremendous growth in the number of vehicles, tremendous growth in, in all to sorts of traffic and, and other things that would cause this to go the other way, we've seen an, an, uh, just an incredible progress year by year not any one year that's been outstanding, but every year we've managed to do things that have driven the pollution out of here. And it's good news for everyone. Now we are in Barrio Logan for a reason. This is one of the worst areas traditionally. In fact, we see a diesel truck uh, right behind us here going by a truck. And that has been uh, one of the serious problems is as everything else has improved, diesel not necessarily has. Well, uh, diesel exhaust in the late 90s, the California Air Resources Board, uh, which I have a member and took a uh, lead on this, declared diesel exhaust to be a toxic. Up to then, it had been kind of on the back burner. Uh, it has increasingly now, as everything else has improved, it's become the significant thing that, that needs to change. And it is. You're going to see new types of diesel fuels. You're going to see new types of diesel engines. You're going to see particulate traps for the, for the existing trucks. You're going to see a, a whole wide variety of things that's going to make diesel engines, whether they're on trucks, whether they're in ships, or whether they're in, you know, what we call off-road equipment, construction equipment, a lot of things we don't think about. All of these, all of these are changing. We're going to continue to make progress, and we're going to have a graph that goes down even further. Is that the future? Is that what we're talking about when we're talking about regulations? Uh, we talk about diesel. That is the hot topic right now. That is the yeah. main center point. I, I think over the the, the next few years. Uh, the concentrated effort will be on diesel exhaust. The internal combustion engine is getting pretty close to the limits with the reformulated gasoline and all of the different things that are being done. It's left the diesel out there as the, the majority of the problem now is attributed to diesel and we're going to see that change. I know you've had your lawnmower program for quite a while, <laughs> and you're very proud of it and oh, should yeah. be. But as an individual, a San Diegan, what, still to this day, what, what, what can they do as an individual that can still help out with this air quality? Well, you, you know, I mean, anybody that wants to get into the electric cars, we're going to see that happen. You know, uh, last week we unveiled a plan where we're putting out 1,500 charging stations. I think in the next 10 years, you're going to see a significant part of the population switch over to electric cars. But in, you know, in your routine, uh, anything that goes into the air, you know, you need to be concerned about that. For most people, though, they're not individually doing those things. We work with the companies also. Mm -hmm. uh, the way that power is produced in San Diego, the way other companies might have emissions, we're reducing all of those things. So we're, at, you know, we're at a point that uh, to the extent that you can lo use less of everything, do less driving, those things would certainly have a, an impact, yeah. but switch. You know, I'd say, look at those new electric cars when they came out, and I, I don't know that we'll be able to do a, an electric car trade in as we did with the lawnmowers, but. You that know, would be something. You know, <laughs> who knows? All right, super, Maybe the future will have that. Supervisor Roberts, thank you very much for being with us. This nice week. to be with you. All right, so good news on a Monday morning, and a picture does tell uh, uh, the story right there with that graph, a very significant graph and a very significant gain and improvement in our air quality in San Diego and San Diego County. Back to yeah, you. back in 88, we had 166 days with bad air, and last year? Yeah, we just had two of them. Two. Just two of them. So maybe this year we'll get it, get her down to zero. Get her down to zero. Real nice progress That's for sure. Another great reason right. to be here. Thank you, David. Uh -huh. Thank you, David.